Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett, Parnassus Books, and it's Friday, and if you haven't read this book, it's new to you. Okay, so on Tuesdays, we do the lay down diary. And on Tuesdays, all of us, but I will just speak especially for myself and Lindsay, stand there and say, I'm so excited about this book. I can hardly wait to read this book. Well, if you're good at math, you will figure out really quickly that it's not humanly possible that we are reading the books before and the books that come out. So it's aspirational. Books come out and we see them on Tuesday morning and we're like, oh my gosh, I want to read that book. But we know that we're never going to read that book because we have to read all of the books that are in the pipeline to come out. Well, one book I felt very strongly that way about was this book, The Bee Sting by Paul Murray, because I had read Skippy Dies by Paul Murray, and I absolutely loved it. Then I went on book tour in Australia and New Zealand. And when I was in Melbourne, getting ready to go on stage in a green room, who do I meet? Who do you meet in Melbourne? I met Paul Murray. And I had read Skippy Dies, but I hadn't read The Bee Sting. And The Bee Sting had been a finalist for all of these prizes. It was a finalist for the Booker. It should have won the Booker. Anyway, um, he was such a nice guy. And I said, oh, I'm such a fan of yours. I didn't say, oh, I'm such a fan of yours. I just have only read Skippy Dies, even though you're on tour for The Bee Sting. And he was, he was lovely. He was great. And I thought, I am actually going to read The Bee Sting. And so I did. It's 650 pages. This book is so good. And I have so much regret. I wish I could roll back the hands of time and be back in that green room in Melbourne so I could just fall on the floor and say, oh, you wrote the bee sting? This is a giant dysfunctional Irish family novel in which a teenage girl is having problems with her teenage friend and then everything starts rolling backwards so we find out how far the problems in this family go. It's really astonishing and at the end you will wish it was twice as long. Now the good news is it is now out in paperback, right? So it makes it doesn't make it shorter, but it makes it a little more manageable. The last thing that I want to say about this book, the New York Times did the 100 best books of the century so far, and this wasn't on it. And then they did the 100 best books as chosen by the people because everybody who read the list was so outraged by it. And this book was number 94. You know what that means? It means not enough people have read this book. When you see lists like that, you have to remember that people are choosing books that they've actually read. So they just haven't read this because if they had, it would have been at the very top of both of those lists. Beasting, enjoy.